Oh, this is Hero again. It seems like before and after series seems to be popular. So that's what we will do again today. Well, today is Japanese maples, and you've seen them before. But I found that a lot of you need this repetition to start to understand, right? So uh, that's what I'll do today. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky seven. So I'll do seven of the maples today. These will be a mixture of uh, material and some that is more towards the finish. Oh. Start with this guy here. Now remember, these are all just straight seedlings, they're not grafted. And you'll start to see that there's a slight difference in the way it looks, but they're basically all green maples. One is a little bit better. Um, when I put them in uh, bonsai training pots, uh, this one happened to be plastic. Uh, or, you know, mica. That means that the shape itself is a little bit further along. So, anyway, this is your before. Okay, this one's in a mica pot, so it's in a, uh, well, it's a much better uh, further along material. So, let me show you what it looks like. So this will be our before shot. This one is actually in a ceramic pot, so it must be further along. Well, you can't tell with all this growth, but that's what happens as it comes out of dormancy, all these big, long, strong growth. So I have to cut them back and open it up to see how we go about shaping this. This one is a group planting. Oh, it looks like it could use a major work. Two is a green seedling, but it's slightly different. The leaves, it looked like it might have got crossed between um, a green lace leaf and a regular. Well, I collect my seeds from an uh, area that has different varieties of maple. So what happens is it comes out looking different. This looks like a raft style. I think from that side you could see a little bit better than this side here. But a raft style is a tree that was kind of bent over or fallen and then it rerooted along the main trunk. So that's what this is. It's the raft style. So I'll go ahead and get all these done and then I'll show you the after. So this was the before. Okay, um, this is the after. You know, I was looking at this leaf and I said, wow, this is really nice that I don't have uh, leaves that are this color. Well, you know what? The problem was the soil is getting bad. That's why it's, this is not the way it's supposed to look. It's just undernourished. So anyway, I took care of that. I put fresh soil on it and I'll wait a little bit and I put fertilizer and it should be like the others. Rats. Okay, here's another one. This is nice. It's kind of hard to see, but it has this kind of the hero's uh, look on the roots. It's kind of floating a little bit. Okay, even bigger material. I think that's your front right there. 
Okay, now, you know these big leaves that come out, and then this one here got damaged anyway. If you learn to cut these off, don't pluck them, because you gotta save the buds that's in there. The next one that grow in its place will be smaller. Okay, this was a air layering. And there's a, a story behind this one here. Actually, this is quite old, probably 30, maybe more. Well, I started this when I was very young. And I was into, remember I said I was into big things? So this one here, I had made a box that was about 30 inches and took a big maple and laid it on its side. That's how we start the uh, raft style, right? And you could still see the roots sticking up. Well, it took, but then I realized, hey, what do you do with this thing? I don't have a pot big enough to put the whole thing in. So after uh, a lot of consideration, I cut it in half. So now I have this raft in two pots. And if I ever find that footage, I'll show it to you. But I think I sold off the other part, and then this is the bottom half of my raft that I started a long time ago. Yeah, I was kind of on the young side. This is a raft style, uh, much younger than that one. And when I made this, I was much wiser. No more of those humongous things that uh, we can't find a pot for. This one could use a nice ceramic pot. Mm, I should get around to it one of these days. Oh, actually, I guess that size better. But anyway, this is probably one of my close to textbook perfect. So I guess this will be more or less an informal upright because it does have some slight curves to it. So I do make some more traditional styles from time to time. This one is quite old, but the way it looks, there's a big wound in here. This was a conversion from a big material into bonsai. That's why it's still not there yet. Um, this part needs to fatten so there's a better transition. But you can see down below it's really good. So anyway, those are the after shots of the, today's program. So this was a group of Japanese maple, green variety, even with slight difference in the leaves, they are all ungrafted seedlings. And then the one to my left, I thought was a really nice variety. It just turned out to be uh, anemic. Last night, I was watching um, PBS and Hill Hauser and California Gold. And well, he's one of my favorite people that I like to watch. And last night, they were doing this thing with a um, music video of California Gold, or California Here I Come. Well, now that's stuck in my head, and it's really funny. Um, if I could sing, I would sing for you, but trust me, you really do not want me to sing. It's better if I just keep making these videos, because at least I'm halfway decent with that. But. I really like his show because he did everything with just one cameraman. And typical production, there's four that come out. And that gets really expensive and more uh, difficult to move around. And that's what he used to do. He used to just take off with his cameraman and go all over California. And so I kind of followed him and kind of learn from him, except that since I'm in the studio, I don't have anybody. I'm behind a camera with a camera on a tripod with wheels. 
So anyway, yeah, you know that feeling when you have that thing in your head and you can't get rid of it. Well, anyway, uh, this has been Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter.